I want to be able to post it for your reference later. Uh, <clears throat> first thing that I wanted to point out, this background layer where the picture actually is, you should not be putting shapes on top of it. You should have created the layer and rename it face. That's where your uh, shapes should be, okay? So look, if I delete here, okay, this the eye you can see because I have a new layer for the eye too. So look, because when you turn it in, you're gonna delete this or make it invisible. And then you're gonna turn in, you're gonna create a new layer a black layer for the background and that's how you're going to turn in your final project um clara nikki madden kaden or not kaden damien can you guys make sure you're looking at the video too because i'm going to show you something new so you won't forget all right so here's my new layer the black layer uh right now you probably are something like this you have your picture and you have your face layer. Go ahead and go to layer, new layer, create a new layer. The new layers always default to the top, okay? So whatever number it is that you have there. Uh, then go to the three dots on the corner here and type it black name it a black okay then you can close then you go here over here to the left on this bar here on the color picker usually you should have a black underneath here you can switch but you can just choose black and then you're going to go to the field and with your black layer selected you're going to just uh feeling the whole thing black, okay? So now that the whole thing is black, you're gonna grab it here. You put the cursor on top of the layers and grab it down, 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 below your background, be below your original picture. Okay, let me unlock this to see if it works. Uh, below here. Okay, and then I like to keep my picture layer locked so I don't move it and make a mistake. Now, when you make your layer, this button here is invisible. You can talk to make your layer invisible. When I make it invisible, I can see with the black underneath. Okay, that's um, what you should do. And every once in a while, check, turn off your picture. So you can check to see how good your face is becoming, okay? Um, now, another thing I wanna point out, your hair and shoulders, you have to do your hair and shoulders, okay? Now the hair, you don't need to do tiny triangles if you want, you can make strips. Um, and then the clothing, just don't make one big old shape, but make it bigger shapes than the face, way bigger. That will be fine. Um, and then I want to give you a tip for the eye because the eye, those little details are hard. So here for the eye, here's what you're going to do, what you can do. I already create a new layer and I name it left eye. Um, but then what you, if you haven't had this layer, what you do is layer, new layer, layer new layer and then you click in here and you rename it now i'm gonna make the left eye in here and what you can do select this layer the left eye layer or whatever eye you're doing and reduce the opacity what does what that does is it's gonna your shapes are gonna be transparent and then you'll be able to see underneath you're gonna be able to see the picture. Distance learners, I cannot see your answer questions right now, so you can stop typing. Wait until I am available, okay? 
because otherwise I'll have 300 messages there. It's going to take forever to look through them. Just wait, please. So get here your color. Move the color picker. Here, I'm going to get the white of the eye, which is not really white. And then lasso to polygons. Look, now when I make the this shape here, which should be the uh, white of the eye. And I just, to make a rounded shape, you just click closer together. Okay. Here. See, when this, when the polygon does, does this, that you move and it's still dragging the line, is because you didn't close the shape. So click again closer. Or double click. Now I'm going to go to fill, and then when I go in there, see, my shape is transparent. And then I can now do the circle and the, the iris, the pupil, the highlights, the eyelashes, all in the same layer. And then later, you can just bring it back the opacity to 100. So now I could do this. I get my... Uh, lasso to polygon and then I'm gonna I have to deselect this so I don't want it to mess up and I'm gonna do the iris right on top of it right on top now I already did the other eye so I'm just gonna grab the color from here which is this one actually and I'm gonna fill in like that. Then I can get my shape again and do the pupil here. I think when you do on top of each other, you have to deselect first. So I'm gonna do the pupil here and then it's black and then I'm gonna feel and then you keep going, okay? So when you're done, you can just go back here again and bring your opacity back to 100. And then you have the eye. Now, the best way to do this nicely is start with a bigger, you're working from the back to the front. So the white of the eye is the first, then the iris, then the pupil, then the highlights. Then you can do the eyelashes and so forth. All right? Um, Okay, then if you're done today, I don't think you will be, but if you're done today, you're gonna turn off the background layer and then you're gonna turn on, you know, your black layer is on and you can export, you can save it as a save, as a JPEG and then upload to Schoology. JPEG, make sure you put your name and upload to Schoology. All right, I'm gonna stop recording and I'm going to answer your questions.